Hello guys. Welcome to another episode of eBiscuit. Today I am going to introduce a freeware to resize images for your applications. You can make correct fit images for your profile photos and cover photos. I am using here an application called Earthenview. If you don't have already installed the application in your PC, you can check the description for the download link. Before we start, I would like to quickly explain two technical terms that help you to resize the images properly. First one is the image aspect ratio. Aspect ratios are written as a formula of width to height, mathematically written like this. 3 is to 2, 1 is to 1, 1 is to 2, etc. For example, a square image has an aspect ratio of width is to height equals 1 is to 1, which means the height and width are the same. The pixel values of the image could be 500 pixels versus 500 pixels, or 1500 pixels versus 1500 pixels, etc. As another example, a portrait style image might have a ratio of 2 as to 3 equals width as to height. With this aspect ratio, the height is 1.5 times longer than the width. So the image pixel value could be 500 pixels versus 750 pixels, 1500 pixel versus 2250 pixel, etc. If you don't consider the aspect ratio, while resizing the image, the image may look stretched after resizing. Second term is DPI. DPI stands for dots per inch. It is the number of dots or pixels that are rendered in one inch on the screen. For example, if the screen is 21 inches and your resolution is 1366, then the DPI would be 1366 divided by 21 equals 65 DPI. It means that in one inch on the screen, we can fit approximately 61 color dots or pixels. Remember, each computer has a different size of the screens. So we have a standard DPI value for computer screens that is 72. Here I have opened EarthenView Graphic Viewer. Go to File and open the image to edit, you can also press O at the keyboard. Now I have an image with a width 1920 pixels and height 937 pixels size. I am going to resize this image, go to Image and select Resize Resample option, you can also use Ctrl plus R short key combinations. Now we have a resize window opened, it has six different sections. In the first section, we have current and new sizes. I am going to change the height to 500, and let's see how the image looks now. You can see the image is stretched. Why because I did not keep the aspect ratio. Now I have selected aspect ratio, and let's see how the image looks after resizing. You can also note that the width is also changing according to the height. Let's give some smaller values and see the result. In the next section, we can give the percentage value to resize the image. Now it is 100%. I changed this to 50% and now you can see the new size is half of the original width and height. The same half can be achieved using this half option as well. The same way you have a double option as well. Give the value of 200%. Apply the value in the changes. If the pixel values are higher than your screen, you won't see the changes on the image, but you can see the pixel has changed here. If you select this option, DPI value will be adjusted automatically according to the image aspect ratio. Here we have some predefined standard dimensions with aspect ratio preserved. More values are available under the drop-down list. Swap Sides option will swap width and height values of the image. You can see the new value after swapping.
add to the standard box option will add a new temporary value to the above standard value list. The last section is the sizing techniques. EarthenView uses its own techniques to resize the images. Lancho's method can give you better quality images after resizing. There are other options available under the drop-down list. If you want to know more about it, check the description for the link. Now we are going to create a cover photo for Facebook. Facebook cover photo should be at least 820 versus 312 pixels dimensions and 100 KB size. Remember I have enabled aspect ratio, so the width and height values depend on the current image size. Now I take another image with different aspect ratios and see what values we can give to the image. I can give a closer value and small adjustments can be done on Facebook while uploading the image. Next, we save the image with a lower size. EarthenView has separate options while saving the image. You can limit the file size here. I set this to 100K. You can also save the profile for later use. The size is 83 KB after saving. Now I will take another image for the Facebook profile picture. The size should be at least 170 versus 170 pixels. You can see the size is just 23 KB after saving the image. Next, we resize an image for linked in the background. The background size is relatively larger. You can see the current image aspect ratio. It is not fitting for the standard background size of LinkedIn background image. Here we have some more options to set the aspect ratio for the image and also for custom crop selections. Once you choose an appropriate aspect ratio or you set the custom selection, you can crop the selected area. Here I am going to give some custom values to crop the image to fit for the LinkedIn background. Now you can see the custom selection, hold the right click and move the selection wherever you want. Once you're ready, go to edit and select crop selection. Also can use Ctrl plus Y short keys.